This is for users of the Mamiya 645 Pro or Pro TL camera system that have had issues with the film advance on their 120, 220 backs. So the way this issue works is the film advance will continue without causing the film counter to move. So you can see the film counter is moving right now. But before we get to one, it stops moving instead of getting to one and clicking. And if I had real film in here instead of an empty spool, all the film would be getting taken up by the take up spool right now and we'd just be wasting film. So luckily the fix is very simple. All we need is a small Phillips head screwdriver. So we can start by removing the back from the camera. Dark slide is in the correct spot. So for this fix, we need to get inside the back behind this panel. To remove the panel, we only need to take out four screws. This one here in the corner. These two here on the bottom. And this one here in the corner on the inside. So let's go take those out. Just a note, keep track of which screw is which because as you can see, they have different lengths. So now that we've taken out all four screws, we can remove this panel and you can just lightly pull up the door. It doesn't even need to be open, just like this. And it comes off, great. So inside, there's a lot going on, but all we're gonna do is loosen the counter return spring over here. So the counter return spring is fighting against the action that causes the pin to click back to cock the shutter. So all we need to do for that is loosen this screw and allow this bracket to spin out a little bit to remove some tension from the return spring. So keep that bracket from moving with one finger and then loosen this screw just a little bit, you don't need to take it out. Okay, now I guess with your screwdriver, you can oof, catch this bracket as it spins a few turns. And let's tighten it back now. Okay, we wanna leave the minimum amount of tension that's needed to return this counter when the back opens. So now that we've removed some tension, let's test it. And we can do that just by attaching it right back to the camera with the panel open. You're gonna need to put something in the take up area of the insert. So let's see what I've got. So all I have here is an empty 120 film spool. Uh, you probably have one of these lying around an unshot or a shot roll of 120 will also work. So let's close up the back and test the fix. To test, you're just going to want to fire the shutter and advance, and fire the shutter and advance a bunch of times, as many times as you need to be confident. If it misses the click even once, then you're gonna to wanna to loosen that return spring a little more. So that's the click we want. So let's go through the rest of the roll now. So it looks like this fix worked. Let's open the door, make sure we still have enough tension on the return spring to move the counter back. So there's less than there was, but it's still plenty. So now that this back is fixed, let's take it off the camera and put it back together. So to put the panel back on, you'll just drop it on top very gently and kind of work it into place. And then 
you'll want to jiggle this knob a little bit so it engages with the ratchet. And you'll feel the panel go down a little more and then this knob will turn correctly. So now that the panel's back on, we can put all the screws back in. Make sure you don't over tighten them because you could break the plastic and also don't tighten them all the way until you put in all four just to make sure everything's in the right spot. So now this back works perfectly and we can use it on our camera in the field. I hope this video helped you if you had this issue. If you have any questions or if I got anything wrong, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.